Oh, this music is making me nut. I watch. I watch you play a little bit after after all this. I won't. I have to. I watch that. I'm fucking hating. I'm right. not hating. I'm just watching. Shut up. Watch. I really watch Let's that. See him, bro. Damn. Let's see what blood. I won't, cause he's the go. I will not. I will not stop. Oh my god! Get his dick out your mouth. Never. Oh, bro, bro, shut up. We're getting in a blood drive. <sighs> Hold on, we're back with Naomi. And you know what my- No, I'm, I'm gonna be Naomi, so. Somebody else take this. And you know oh, what my kid told one? me? He said that Innocent was connected with an underground website that gotten real popular at his school. Do you believe this girl? You, you got that, uh, Sunny? Oh, I think I heard about that on the news a while back. Profiles being used for bullying and applying dates. Is that kind of stuff still going on? Hell yeah. What are they waffling about? Well, the news has stopped hovering it, but it's still happening from whatever I hear. I wonder if my kid goes on websites like that. Maybe I should talk to him about it. Yeah, I think you maybe should, because he, he's probably a little freaky. Oh, they're just chatting over there, aren't they? Chatting about nothing. Just get to yapping. It was late afternoon. Right around the time students were returning home from school. And here I was again. Standing right in front of the intercom at the door to Seiko's house. I've been here for over an hour now, standing, staring. Wondering whether to push that button. Wait a minute. Is this Seiko? Seiko from uh the one that died? Yeah. This is Naomi yeah, right here. But we're talking about Seiko. Wait a minute. He hasn't yeah, he hasn't we haven't we me and DJ we still haven't beat the first one, so he doesn't know what happens. Oh. Maybe we should come back to this after me and DJ beat it, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. No, 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 no. Keep going, keep going. Cause it's a big okay. Then I can just piece it all together, you know what I'm saying? I must have looked really suspicious. Especially since I'd been here yesterday and the day before, too. And each time I wound up just going home. But today would be different. That's what I told myself. Today I'd actually push that button. I was ready to face my demons. Girl, no, you wasn't. Okay. Oh, yeah, tone that down. <laughs> I've had enough of kids this weekend, bro. Somebody. Hey, you two hey, can't just run off like that. Run off oh. Like that. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, I guess DJ got it. That was you. He wouldn't hurry up. Seiko's younger hey, brother. You know I guess you can be Aya. Aya. <laughs> Aya. Let's go. All right, line up. Make sure you've got your shoes <laughs> on tight. You get it, Z? Did yeah, you get I it? got it. I got it. <laughs> there we go. Hey, straighten, straighten that hat. <laughs> Very good. I think we're ready now. Take my hand, please. Now, you think you two can behave at the market? Okay. Aya. Yeah. Yeah. Aya. That's what I like to hear. I made sure I hid out of sight while they were leaving the house. You and those other two kids were definitely Seiko's younger siblings. They were the reason I'd come. They were the ones I wanted to see. I had no idea what I'd say to them. But I knew for sure that Seiko existed, so I had to say something. So did she go back in time or some shit? Maybe I'd show them this cell phone. Yeah, this is actually depressing. Maybe I'd show them this cell phone So you think this is after the first game, Nancy? This could be right after the first game, or maybe it's just another loop. Seiko's the one that died in She's back. She's back, though. It seems like she's back in the real world. I mean, yeah, it could be another loop where she where she made it out. I guess. Maybe I show them the cell phone picture and tell them, "Hey, this is your sister," and ask if they remembered anything about her. Hell no, I wouldn't do that. 
it would be it would be okay. I just needed to explain myself. They'd understand. They had to. I made up my mind. That was the perfect chance. I stepped out from my hiding place. That is the dumbest idea I've ever heard. I say, I say, just just go over there and be like, hey, have you guys heard of a, a Seiko Shinohara? It's like you know, you just gotta kind of gotta live with whatever they say. Hey, hey. But. Barely made a single word before I felt someone grab my arm from behind, holding me back. Running ass back here, you ain't running. Who is it? What? Uh, who's there? Oh, it's Ayumi. Oh my god, is this hoe. Don't do this. Don't do it. I know what you're trying to do, but calm your ass down. They do that not want to see you. Class rep? I understand where you're coming from, but you can't do this. Our class rep, Shinazaki, was shaking her head at me. She was determined to stop me from confronting Seiko's family. My vision was starting to blur. What do you plan to say to them? You know how it's gonna turn out. Cause she's hard. She's about to cry, that's why. <laughs> I think you should just let her cry. I couldn't hold back my tears any longer. I squatted on the ground and looked up at the class rep who was staring back at me with equally glassy eyes. You don't need to be squatting though, you know? There were only a handful of people in the world who could truly understand what I was going through. Only those of us who returned from Heavenly Host Elementary alive. Only Shinazaki, Satoshi, Kishinuma, and Yuka. This is the, the, the normal ending, right? Yeah. This has to be. As for those who lost their lives there, Seiko, Suzumoto, Morishiki, and Mishishida. We came back to find that their very existence was wiped clean from this world entirely. They could have made it out. Oh, I gotta play Blood Drive now, if this is the starter. Yeah. Nakashima-san. <laughs> Bro, stop. <laughs> I was walking Ooh, I can't home, wait to play Blood Drive. defeated and dejected, with the class rep at my side when she suddenly addressed me. It sounded like she wanted to tell me something. Doing research for the last couple weeks at the library. Looking up information about the Shinozaki estate. That's kind of dangerous. That's the house where Yosh Yoshie and Sachiko, Shinozaki, lived. The place that the beings in control of Henley hosts once called home. Mm. You might recall that the newspaper articles we found about the kidnapping and murder incident gave precious little information about Sachiko. And aside from local papers, nobody even bothered covering the news about Yoshi's death at all. Digging up this information was no small feat. She was looking down at her feet and kept a steady, quiet tone the whole time she was talking. It seemed like this was all leading up to something else. But she was kind of an expert when it came to ghosts and the occult and such, so I trusted her. I wanted to know where she was going with this. Yoshie Shinozaki's former home is here, in this prefecture. It's in the outskirts by the mountains. Her home? Like Yoshie's and Sachiko's? Right in our backyard. It's that close? Damn. Yeah, Heavenly Host once stood where Kisaragi is now after all. And since Yoshi and Shinozaki were there, it makes sense her home wouldn't be too terribly far away. Naho mentioned in her nose, right? R remember? That's where she salvaged the original Sachiko proxy for the ritual. So yeah, seems like a good place for us to find something, don't you think? The origin of the Shinozaki family's curse rests within those walls, 
And I believe there must be some clue there that could really help shed light on it. She had my full attention now. I swallowed hard as if she, as if I was taking it all in. Ugh, I hate that sprite. I got an address too. If we take the train, we could be there in less than an hour. So what do you say, Nakashima? Sam, let's go check it out right now. Hell no. The Shinazaki estate. <laughs> you, bro, you wouldn't. Like, hell no. You wouldn't. You, you, you wouldn't pull up to um Heavenly Host to save me, bro. Zeke, what if she said, hell no, hell no. Bro, you He's wouldn't. Like, hell you, no. you wouldn't go to I Heavenly Host, bro. If me, if me, bro, I try and save you. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna be real with you, Zeke. I'm. A, you know, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna save you, man. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. I know y'all might abandon me for real, like, cause I yeah, know y'all like. Yeah, I'll probably I abandon you. I'll probably abandon you. I appreciate the honesty, but I'm gonna try to save y'all, no cap. Both. I appreciate. I, I really. You're I better might, than me. You're look, better than me. Look, I'll be real. I might try. Like, I'll think about it. I'll think about it for real. I'll yeah, about, you know, I, I, I give it. I give it a couple thoughts. You know, I like. I might pull up for a second, be like, "All right, where's Sunny?" And then I realize I'm not built for this, and then I just dip out. <laughs> I'll die for y'all though. No, no, no cap. Like, you my broskies. Like, I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm. You're proud of me and my success, right, Broski? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Proud of your success, Broski. I was haunted by my memories of Heavenly Host, and this wouldn't, and this would entail visiting the source of it all, where the danger would be far greater. Yet somehow, lead on, class rep. Her post up, bro. It was right around 4.30 in the afternoon. The day was already cooling in the night, and the, the sun would surely be settling shortly after we arrived at our destination. But neither of us really cared. I just wanted to be there as soon as humanly possible. If there were even the slightest chance of finding answers, I'd welcome it. The two of us went right to the station and hopped on the very next train. We could find out in the countryside, grasping at straws for all we were worth. Oh, shit. I began to wish I'd gone back to change clothes before we left. This music! Hold on. How did you wish, I can't hear But if I'd done that, I'd have to explain to Mom where I was going. And I sincerely doubt she would have been amenable to the idea i could have always just gone anyway of course but then i'd be directly disobeying my mother and undoubtedly making her worry sick about me then class rep and i then class rep and i were seated next to each other on a local commuter train i'd never ridden before there were only two other passengers much like us they were simply staring down at the ground and writing in silence lost in their own thoughts these last couple weeks have been brutal. All five of us who survived were feeling it. We were more exhausted than we'd ever been in our entire lives. But no matter how crazed people said we were, no matter how much our souls ache from the memories, we can never forget Seiko and the others. Every photo we had of them, though be it film or digital, had its face blacked out completely. And the scariest, saddest thing I could imagine was the passage of time because eventually I knew I'd have trouble remembering what they looked like. I want to run something by you. We're the only ones who have any memory of Miss Yui. Suzumoto, Shinohara, and Morishige, right? Because if you die in Heavenly Host, it is you've never existed in the first place. You're erased from the collective memory of everyone in the real world. Why was she breaking this up? I just looked down at my knees, trying unsuccessfully to fight back the tears that were welling up in my eyes yet again. Have a look at this. I cannot read them. Naho's nods to the netherworld. It's just that spirit medium girl's blog, right? Doesn't anything seem odd about it to you? Nah, not really. The blog's final entry was the one detailing the Sachiko Ever After ritual. But we already knew that. There were no updates after it because... 
Wait. Didn't Naho die? Right. The class rep nodded and looked into my eyes. Naho lost her life in Henley Host Elementary School, just like everyone else. Wait a second! Yeah, this is weird. Wait, this that is... vlog is still here! Yes, like everything about it should be Wait. gone. That shit's true! Oh, yeah! Y'all got me coming. Okay, look, so basically, when you die in Heavenly Host, everything yeah. about you is erased from the real world. Naho like, nobody died. knows shit about you. Yeah, bro. Naho died in Heavenly Host, so how is her blog still here? So her blog is still, like, up here. It should be gone. It should, so it should like, be erased. It should you know, be gone, like, it should know, be erased. That's kind of crazy, though, because all the kids that have, that, that have like, died, right? Their parents yeah. just did the deed for no reason. <laughs> how can Wait, that be? We, we kids watching course party? All right, bro. But how can that be? Come on, it's for kids. You know how many times we have said some things, bro? Shut up. Get to it. Nobody's watching. Shut up. I'm not sure of the reason, but this is proof. But this is proof positive. <laughs> what? <laughs> proof that not... That bitch is stupid. She's proof stupid. that not everyone who dies in the school gets erased from existence. I'm never going to read her dialogue after this. Like, no cap. I don't ever want to read her again. No. You got her in, in ba her birthday badge. I checked on her mentor, Mr. Kibiki, too. He also died in Heavenly Host, but just like Naho, there's still still, but there's still ample record of his existence. Hmm. Huh? They're not dead. I was literally on the edge know. of my seat, leaning in close and hanging on her every word. She flashed me a smile. I don't care. Let's not give up hope, okay? We gotta be like Makoto Naegi. Okay. I was crying hard now, but for the first time since we'd come back. I could see the tiniest, faintest glimmer of hope in the Where's darkness. It wasn't much to go on, but it was easily the best news I'd heard in two weeks. And it made me well, feel a lot better that... about this impromptu trip. Back. Even just this one vague clue improved our chances of finding something at the Shinazaki estate significantly. At least now we knew what to look for. You got it, DJ. Loudspeaker. Now arriving at Kishi. Kishi Station. Ow, oh, oh, ew, ew, ew. Guess we're here. Man, really out here? Oh, oh, okay, it's not coming back. Good. Guess we're here. Man, we're really out on the boonies, ain't we? Air smells so delicious. It's nice, isn't it? And we were fortunate to get here while there's still some light left. We should find the estate before it gets dark. Bro, my leg is asleep. Yeah. Shake that bitch open. I don't have any space to do that. Oh, bro, we in Hinamizawa. Oh, we in Hinamizawa, though. We in Hinamizawa. This was the end of the line. A desolate farming community with nothing but farmhouses and fields as far as the eye could see. There was only one main road, and due to the mountainside setting of the picturesque village, it maintained a gradual upward slope the whole way. No, oh, my bad. Not a lot of people around. Yeah, and here I was kind of hoping I could see uh, Yoshiki one time, but with one of the locals and ask some questions. Evidently, the Shinozaki family had a lot of clout here once, and were held in high esteem. I did not know this word existed for that long, I'm not gonna lie. Cloud has been around for like years, bro. I I I, um, I know it has, but what it word? just feels weird hearing it and like hearing it from old stuff. What word are you talking about? We just kind of popularized cloud. it and just fucked it up. You know how society is. We fucked yeah. up everything. The word cloud, like it was a, it was, it's always been a word, but like you know the way it kind of blew up, like you know everybody remembered it. And now it just feels weird. Everybody just kind of just yeah. fucked it, it up. Feels, yeah, it feels yeah, feels weird it. hearing it in old stuff because this game was like what, like 2011, I think. This game came out I think a few years back. It turned to like a, a few, few years game. before, a couple of years ago. What are you talking about? Really? Since you're a Shinazaki what? too, I wonder if you have some distant ancestry in common with them or something. Hell no. You're fucking stupid. But I guess it's possible. There are an awful lot of Shinazakis in Japan, you know? I mean, you gotta think about it though. She Not only is she a Shinazaki, she's also like, you know... I was joking. High Don't spiritual worry. presence. 
No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just theorizing. I'm just theorizing. She no, 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 I get it. No, she literally, she has high spiritual prayer. Yeah, I get it. No, I yeah, get I'm it. just there. No, I'm not responding to you. I'm, I'm just talking. No, I don't you care. Know, I get it though. No, I don't okay. care. No, I, get I literally don't care. No, no, about no, 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 no. I get Bro, it. Though. I just, I just want to talk. I, I literally just want to talk. I literally just want to. I talk. get it though. She like a, she like a soul reaper. Let like, them you know talk. Oh my god. Like bleach. You know. I'm killing myself, bro. I can't do this. Like, you no, know, like bleach soul reaper type shit. You know I'm so that? tired of Mexicans. Okay. Yeah, that's true. So, are we going right away? I think it's this way, yeah. But to be honest, the address I found didn't have a house number, so I'm not entirely sure. Oh, but what about your cell phone? Doesn't it have that GPS thing? Can't we use that to figure out where we're going? I already tried, but it looks like there's no map data on file for this area, which is actually very strange. Um, hey, you know what I say, if you say so. The road was paved the whole way, but it was full of cracks and holes, resulting in countless tiny pebbles and patches of sand crunching under our feet. And the darker it got, the more noticeable the sound of the uneven terrain became. There was something unsettling about the idea of two schoolgirls in uniform walking through a strange, largely deserted village at the cusp of the twilight. Hey, I really think we should stop and ask someone for directions. How about we pay that house a visit? Where you she was pointing at one of the isolated farmhouses directly in front of us. It sounds good. It is getting dark after all. Let's pick up the pace. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going. Excuse me. Yeah, we're really finna be in here in Zawa for Rosie. We finna pull up on we finna pull up on um um Keiichi and Rena and Rika. Maybe they're not home. Let's try someplace else. Oh, okay. We're finna walk up in Silent Hill, bro. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, that scared the crap out of me. What was that? Yeah, I don't like this. Let's get away from here. Too late. Uh, was it Yoshiki? I, I doubt it. I know it's a little unsettling, but if we don't get some information, we'll never find the place. So come on, let's try asking at that one. This time, she was pointing at a slightly more inviting looking residence nearby, sporting a blue roof. Mm -mm, don't go to it. Oh, a blue roof. This is a nice house, holy crap. Hello? That's a nice ass door. Nice yeah, door. that's a nice door. They look rich. Oh. Hello? Is they got money. Home? I know they'd be sniffing coke in there. You got Can I do the order later? Oh. Oh, okay. I, oh, um, I mean, yes. DJ doesn't have anybody, so I was getting rid of the Oh, yeah, all right, go ahead, DJ. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um. Good evening. Good evening, miss. We're a bit lost and would be very grateful if you could help us find our way. Would you like to hear about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Hell no. <laughs> Bro. I can see the figure of a middle-aged woman through the frosting, the frosted glass door. That's fucking scary. Yeah. I wasn't sure if she was actually gonna open it for us, given that we were strangers and she was, by all appearances, a woman alone in an isolated house. She just opened it for us. What's all this then? <sighs> Ah, good evening. I'm sorry to bother you so late, ma'am. We've gone all the way from Fu we've come all the way from Fujisawa, and we're trying to find a certain residence. Oh my! What a cute little visitors! And coming all wait, hold on. And coming all this way with the sun going down, no less. She is a predator. Thank goodness. She seemed like a perfectly normal, perfectly kind old pedophile. I took my place next to the class rep and bowed my head in respect. Chris Hansen? So where is it you're trying to go then? I'm trying to reach this address, but I don't have a house number. This is all I know. Oh, honey, don't you know that house doesn't even exist? 
Shut up. Why should Let's I be exactly see. what she says? Oh lord. What? Oh shit. What business do you have the Shinazawa's estate? <laughs> I think I said um, that right, right? Shinozaki. Actually, Shinozaki, oh. we're investigating oh, something, right? Yeah, that's right. It's um for a school assignment. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not okay, lying. Buddy. Okay, buddy. She said, "Okay, bro." The old lady's demeanor changed in an instant. She made herself as large as she could and began pushing us out of her house. We didn't even go in yet. Miss, is something wrong? Get out! Boom! Get out of here! Huh? What? No, no, no. I want nothing to do with you ugly bitches. What was that all about? Just seeing the word Shinazaki estate seemed to send her off to the deep end. This could be a problem. Don't you care? Goodness. The day was fading fast, the sky was still blue for now, but it was getting darker by the minute. Street lights were popping on all around us. Let's just try to find another house. There must be someone around here who will tell us what we need to know. Yeah, you think? Ah! That old lady is still standing there. Right inside the door. Oh god, you're right. Why? Is she still watching us? I told you I didn't like this. Let's go, okay? This is getting really creepy. She's a predator. She Just seemed like home, such though. a kind old woman, too. When, when she first answered the door. But now she just felt menacing. The sudden change was almost staggering. Menacingly! 6.30, huh? Yeah. What's your shaky We walked for quite a while after that. The fields and trees were becoming more plentiful, while houses were becoming a rarer sight. The roads and climb had gotten a lot steeper, too. We were literally climbing a mountain now, and the likelihood of finding the house we sought, or any house at all, seemed to be lessening with every step. Oh my God. Car coming, watch out Nakashima. Oh, uh, thanks. Actually, never mind, just get in front. We pushed ourselves against the guardrail and waited for the car approaching from behind to pass by before we continued our trek. Stops right in front of him. I, I fucking knew it. Look at you. Stop it. Hey! What are. Wait. Hey! What are. What a couple. Step the fuck up, damn. I'm helping you, dog. You struggling? Hey, what are what are a couple schoolgirls? School 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 it's dangerous. It's dangerous to be walking in the road, you know. The mini pickup pulled alongside us, and an older gentleman stuck his head out of the window. He seemed like the sociable sort. Shut up, you old man. We're actually looking for the Shinozaki resume. If you have any idea where that is. I don't say this again, Shinazaki, right? Yeah. Yeah. Shinazaki? Ah, yeah. The old Shinazaki estate. It's up that away, deep in the mountains, you know? Still said it wrong, okay. No, I didn't. I said Shin Shinazaki. You said Shinazaki. Shinazaki. I said Shinazaki. It's Shinazaki. You said Shinazaki. Zaki. Zaki. It's Shinazaki. 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 Just up ahead? A big suck in the name. <laughs> okay, yep. Roski. Well, that's good. We've been going the right way after all. Yeah, but it's it's ways up in there. If, if Yin's walking, it's gonna... Why is he talking like this, bro? <laughs> if Yin's is walking, it's gonna take you a long walk. Why is it? Yins. I've never heard somebody say Yins. Yins. Don't know what business you got. 
in a place like this, but hop in if you want. I'll take you in. I, I would recommend that. Don't, don't, don't get in there. Don't, don't, don't. The class rep and I looked at one another square in the eyes. He seemed a little shady, but it was getting pretty late, and as they say, beggars can't be choosers. You wouldn't let another opportunity like this. So we thanked the old man and got in his truck. And we never saw the light of day again. <laughs> oh, nah, he looked like a predator. <laughs> These are little girls right here. These are little girls. This truck's supposed to be a three seater, but it's, it's kind of crowded. Sorry about that. Hey man, that's quite all right. We're I very great. You look so stupid from the front, bro. <laughs> yeah, you just have to hate on Yumi. Hey, me too, though. Okay. I hate. I just. Ha I don't care. I just hate. I just don't like her front face, bro. Like her front her profile. Her sprites are so, so stupid. Her sprites are stupid. Her front profile is so stupid. <laughs> if we kept on walking, it would have been nighttime before we knew it. Ma. Well, I sure ain't got a lot of business up there at the old Shinazaki estate on the mountain. There's days where you... Well, what? Alright, DJ, you can, you, you, you can take Ayumi, can you take DJ. Ayumi? Please, I want to do his voice. No. This voice sounds so fun. Please! <laughs> no. There's days where you are too looking... Where you are too looking to go up there and anyhow. Please, I'm funny, I swear. Please, I'm funny. I think. I don't want to do her voice. Read. <laughs> no. Read. Well, can I do it in a country voice? Bro, it's just read. Oh my goodness. I mean, we are in the country. So can I do a country voice? You do. Okay, go ahead. Well, I'm not really sure how to put it. Let's just say there's some information we're trying to find. You gotta go. To, you gotta get a little bit gir girlier than that. Information. <laughs> About a nurse who used to live there a long time ago, a woman named Yoshi Shinazaki. Yeah, back in the day, it used to be a, it used to be a home run clinic. It did. Well, lots of people went up there and uh, all the time. But nobody goes there anymore. Don't, don't know kind of the shape it to, it'll be in. Um. We just kind of, we just kept driving further up the mountain path, and the higher we got, the rougher the ride became. Road maintenance was clearly not a priority here. What the fuck? With four tires and four different elevations at any given point in time, the whole truck was being rocked to its core. Ah, darn. <laughs> what the heck? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just glad I'm wearing my seatbelt. Oh, this is quite the road, isn't it, mister? Oh, yeah, baby. This ain't no damn road. You're going with me, man. I said this is quite the road, isn't it, mister? <laughs> I think she this said... The I'm old man. The, <laughs> the old man's driving was starting to frighten me. I could see Ayumi's head bouncing up and down, and it honestly felt like we was in a runway vehicle. So we're all just from the country now. Don't even worry, about it. Don't even worry about uh, Mister. Aren't you going a little fast? Oh my gosh! Of course. Both crashing out. <laughs> With that casual look on his face, he just casually oh, crashed really the car. Not, he's not doing no emotion. <laughs> just casually crashed the car. He's, he's like that meme, Z, the with the girl. He was like, Oh my goodness. Manslaughter? Yeah. <laughs> my heart was beating a mile a minute. That was a person on the road, wasn't it? The class rep and I have both gone pale. We looked over at the old man. Oh, that's a beautiful ass, like, voice right there. Yeah. It's okay. Whatever it was, I didn't hit it. This is not you, Sonny. Yes, it is me. Shut up. DJ. It's always been me. DJ. Where did he go? Everybody okay? Whatever it was. Hopefully I didn't hit it. 
What? Believe me, you hit a person or an animal on the road, it'd make a bigger noise than that. Like, that's cat. This old man seemed to have gone a little weird now as well. And much like the old woman in town, started off so kind and helpful. We're literally Hinamizawa, bro. Literally. This is actually Hinamizawa. Who is that in the road? Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> wow, it's so... He just does not care. Hey, end of the line. Can't go any further, but my car. You don't know, gotta have a have to hoop it. You or want you going or you want me to no, drive your back? I'm helping you. I'm helping you. I'm helping you. Shut the fuck up. Hey, will you watch how you talk to me, boy? Shut the fuck up. All right. Hey. You going or you want me to drive your back? Hey, watch the vile language. Shut hey. up. The one that called out a racist. You literally called out a child predator out of nowhere earlier. Shut up. Thanks very much, sir. Matete yaruge. Kiga sundara modotte ge. Konna dogoro ni musume. I'll be wait. Wait, you're kind of weird, bro. You thought you're just gonna sit there all day? You got nothing else to do? <laughs> Brad doesn't have I'll any I'll be waiting here for you. You just come back when you're done. I can't rightly leave you two, you two girls here. All by yourselves, that bro. I mean, I mean, cool guy or whatever, but thank you for your consideration. Dubs, I guess. Damn, bro, ain't got no phone either. Class rep, you good? What is that? What the? Is that a bird? <laughs> that bird is giving hair, bro. That is not a bird, <laughs> bro. <laughs> That's a bird getting hair, bro. <laughs> That sound was man-made, bro. That sound was man-made. That was scary. There was definitely something strange about him. But he did say he'll wait for us, so I think he's a good person where it counts. Yeah, I guess you're right. The sun was setting rapidly and evening was in full stride. And at the top of this uncompromisingly steep road sat Yoshi Shinazaki's home and clinic. Oh. Oh, look. It plateaus up ahead. Is that the place? We finally made it. Hold on. Why did they want to come here again? I kind of forgot. <laughs> they they forgot the journey. They wanted to basically, like, kind of learn more about the curse so that they can go back and save them. Save everybody. They're that trying died. to go to the Shinozaki estate. Yeah. I would have just left it. I yeah. Left yeah. Them. I would have left them, bro. I would have left them. Sorry. I'd be like, I'm, I'm good. I'm alive. I see you somewhere in heaven. You're, you're There's right here. nothing here. This had to be the place. This side of the Shinazaki estate, but there was no house here anymore. The building was torn down. It was just an empty lot. They're gonna turn around to hold them right this way too. Wait, hold up. Look over there. Is that a barn? It's gonna be inside the barn. As soon as you open it. You're right. I wonder why this was spared. If the estate wasn't. Mm -hmm. Sashiko said y'all are not touching mm -hmm. this. It was a small barn on the edge of the property. And remarkably, when I flipped the light switch, the lights actually came on. It still had electricity. Is this possible? Mm. Yeah, it's kind of giving me the creeps. Despite our misgivings, we'd gone far outside our comfort zone to get here. So we set about searching this mysterious barn for any answers. Search mode. Oh damn. Fuck. The music getting intense, you know something's gonna pop off. Yeah, it's a large drum that seems to have once been used for burning waste products. Nothing but soot and ash inside. I wonder what was burned in here. I don't know. It looks like plain old ash to me. But it could have been anything. Hemp sack is filled to the bread with some kind of grain. Probably feed for farm animals. Guess they had chickens or something here. Yeah. 
Old worn out blanket that someone seems to have left here. Somebody from the outside must have sought shelter in here at some point. Oh yeah, maybe. I guess just getting out of the wind isn't always enough. And, uh, it's starting to get kind of cold in here. With the sun down. Yeah. Imagine Yoshiki just comes in like, yeah, like, like DJ said, like, Yoshiki just Shut up about like, Yoshiki, bro, here? dang! There's a mess of old cardboard boxes here, along with the rusted toolbox and any number of other odd and ends. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly useful in, on, or among any of them, however. Hey, look, this box has Shinazaki 1 written on it. You're right. I guess that means this really was Yoshi Shin Shinozaki's house at some point. We spent another half hour or so rifling through the barn from floor to ceiling, looking for anything we could possibly find that might help us. Uh, I don't see a single thing in here that sheds any light on Yoshi or Sachiko Shinozaki at all. It's a night outside too, we've kept that poor old man waiting long enough. It seemed like a waste to leave here empty handed, but we've done all we could do. For today at least, it was time to start heading home. Can't believe all that's left is a barn. Yeah. We should come back tomorrow a little earlier. I like to try talking to more of the locals. Are you sure? Sounds like a plan. I felt like the sun had been setting forever, but now it was nowhere in sight. The wooded mountains all around us were cloaked in a veil of darkness. There weren't any lights to help guide our path either, so we couldn't really see where we were going. And these crickets were so freaking annoying. Was this the way we came? We need to find our way back to the road. I think that's it, though. Since I remember just walking straight toward the barn. Ah, class rep, look! Nestled among the branches just beyond the small grove of trees. The inside lights of the tiny truck shone like a beacon in the night. It's the old man's truck. Yeah, it has to be. Thank goodness. I didn't much like the idea of getting stranded in the woods. There was something oddly fulfilling about getting out and actually doing something. Success or no, it felt so much more fruitful than moping about at home. I didn't care if this was a fool there. As long as I just kept looking day after day, I felt like I could move on. It wasn't hope. It was purpose. Seiko taught me that. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Probably dead. He's not even there! Uh huh? Wait, where's the old man? Bro's dead, bro. He died. He died. It's too long for him. I mean, it is cold, but maybe he had to, you know. Even if it was cold. He she had a car with heat. She began scratching her head and blushing a bit, clearly embarrassed at the suggestion. It might be taking a shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. Well, he left the engine running, so he should be back soon. Let's just wait for him. It's so chilly out here, though. My stomach's freezing. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if we waited inside the truck, right? That's true, okay? Oh, sure. Okay, then class reps first. Huh? Oh, good. It's locked. No. Brother, not when to get robbed. <laughs> well, that sucks. Guess we don't have much of a choice. Let's just wait it out here. Let's sit on the back of the car. Like, it's a it's a pickup truck. Sit on the back of the car. Sit in the back of the car and lay down. Nobody will see you. Oh, it's so cold outside. What time is it anyway? 817. About the right time for cold night air, really. The old man's not coming back, is he? So what are we doing? Just break the window. I said we rob him. 
I mean, you're not lying. I would do the same thing. Yeah, he's not coming back. Might as well be ours. It was so dark we couldn't even see the road. And climbing all the way back would require far more of a hike than we were prepared for. I think there's something else. Which one did we just do? Think of something else. Think of something else. Okay. So we're in the truck coming up here, but there are lots along the roadway. Guardrails out. There were indeed. I could easily imagine being blissfully unaware that we were near the edge of the road and slipping and falling down the mountain. So there's no lights. Walking seems pretty dangerous, don't you think? You have a point. We should probably just keep waiting. If the old man is off doing his business, then you'll probably be back any minute anyway. Yeah. Yeah, to be cold, honest, bro. we don't know how long. I see wait. We don't know how long he will, you know, he left. Bro, it's just his robber, bro. Just steal the car. What did the same thing? He's just the old man. So we no, waited four in the back pocket. And eventually a half hour had passed. Still no sign of the old man's return. We waited that long. Where on earth could he be? I don't think he's coming back. The engine turning. Bro, you better steal that car before the engine runs out. Lord to God, just grab a brick, grab something. The, the only sound either of us could hear in this dense, dark forest was that of the truck's engine idling away. So what do we do? At this rate, we'll never get home. Falls out of range, so we can't call anybody. They're stuck there. They're st yeah, we're screwed, bro. You still haven't robbed them? You still haven't stole the car? I guess I'm only choice is like, What do you think about returning to that barn? I mean, you got all oh, these fucking. No, yeah, y'all are y'all. You're cooked. No, cause look, that light at least. As soon as they go back up there, the the fucking the building is gonna pop up. Watch. I I actually believe that. I very much believe that. The barn is not gonna be there. The barn's not gonna be there, and the, the building's gonna pop up again. I believe that. It could be that. like monster house. The barn's gonna come alive. Either one. Why the barn? Well, if we can't get back down the mountain tonight, we should at least take shelter and rest till morning, don't you think? It's either one of these two things. The, the it just seems safer than staying The barn's still gonna be there, but somehow it's gonna get locked with them inside. Or, the barn's not gonna be there anymore, and uh, the fucking place appears again. Or it could be that it comes alive. Yeah, the the, the, the house comes alive in Issa, so we're gonna spend the night? I shuddered at the thought of spending the whole night on this cold, dark mountain. But she was right. We really didn't have much of a choice. DJ, you want to start reading um Naomi's dialogue? Since you haven't been reading much? I mean, I don't mind. Alright, go ahead. I just, want, I just want to give you some time to shine. I shuddered at the thought of spending the night... God fucking damn it. I shuddered at the, at the thought of spending the whole back, night on this cold, dark mountain. You said you'd be back. Oh lord. In this cold dark mountain. But she was right. We really didn't have much of a choice. Angel left? Yeah. I'm here, guys. I'm here. I'm here. Oh. Okay. Here? Okay. I agree with it. That, this was the only real course of action that made sense. But. On then. Safer than start than staying here. I mean, you, you're still there though. Yeah, I just get a bad feeling from this road, or from this whole mountain, really. So they're getting a bad feeling. It's like there's some kind of presence, and our best bet for dealing with it is to go someplace well lit and get out of the elements. Just a couple of girls on the elements. You feel a presence? Is it something we should be afraid of? I don't know. I'm not even sure if it's a person or something else. And it could be one per- it could be one presence, but many. So it's probably Freddy Krueger. 
<laughs> All I can really say is that it's the we're boogie man. Watched. No, nigga. it's Big Big Randy. Oh no. It's in October. Then let's hurry and get back to the barn. This is definitely October activity. Finding ourselves oh, left with no other choice. <laughs> we put the road behind us and began walking up the dirt path, leading back to the. Hold on, I got this thing in the way. Look, leading back to the Shiniz Shinizaki family's barn. There we go. Beautiful. However, don't tell me that. Sleepy ass roof. DJ, was the was was the barn far from? Damn, was the barn this far from the road before? Don't know. This is weird. It's really weird. It's like the road leading to just up and vanish. Oh wow, uh, DJ called it. <laughs> Does this mean we're? Wait, don't wander off. Oh, sorry. Come on, let's try retracing our steps. We'll just turn around and go back the way we came. Yeah, Zeke, we know too all too well that Yumi starts panicking way too quick. Yeah. He's not good under pressure. Not at all. She's gonna start folding so quickly and she's gonna start crying. Just wait. No, don't start crying, bro. She's already crying. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> He's gonna have a panic attack. <laughs> we are going to the right way. We're going the right way, aren't we? Shouldn't we be seeing the road soon? Bro, what did I say, bro? I I'm already I'm already calling it. The barn already disappeared, so I'm I'm calling that the place is popping up. Where? Are we? Oh hell no, this song, this, this song is crazy. Oh god no. We're lost! Lost in the middle of the damn forest! What? Yes, we were definitely, lo definitely lost. There was literally nothing but... Coniferous. There was nothing but literal. <laughs> there was literally nothing but coniferous trees, as far as the eye could, I could see. What are you trying? What are you what are fucking? All right, in every direction, dark, blooming trees. They're tall, thin forms were casting a web of shadows all along the mountainsides, obscuring our vision of anything all outside our imminent. Surroundings. Don't you have a compass on your phone? You think that compass works now, right now, bitch? Bitch, this shit ain't gonna work. It uses GPS. This shit matched perfectly, bro. I can't lie. <laughs> oh, it does. Why can't this stupid thing get any location data? God, what good is it it craps out on me when I need it the most? Doesn't fucking work. You got that, Zeke. La 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 Hold on. La living. Damn, okay. I what hate this that, sprite, bro. What if it's that one girl that, that Zeke likes? My goat? The goat it could friend. be. It could be. Did, did be. you just hear a voice? A beautiful angelic voice? Is that my goat? Okay, Zeke, you got this this time. No. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't make out what it was saying. But yeah, the sound... That sounded like a person. Maybe it was just the wind in the trees. Oh my goodness, we need to stop with this, bro. It's not just the wind, all right? It's the wind, guys. It's the wind. No, Jotaro. <laughs> oh, hell the no. The does it, not it's sound the... like Josuke screaming, okay? It, 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 it's, the, it's the fucking... It's the owl, guys. I'm scared. At any rate, we need to find our way off... off, off Do you have any ideas? I mean... 
we shouldn't just wander endlessly. I mean, you've been doing that for like the past two hours, right? That's true. If, if we got lost in the mountains, we... They say you should never head toward low ground. I did not... I didn't know that. This course of action is probably just to stay in a place and wait for daybreak. But it's cold, and we have no tent. Maybe we huddle together? Come on, we gotta cuddle up. That's fine. But, yeah, I'm, good. I'm good to walk at least a little longer. So how about we keep at, keep at it for a little bit? If we get near, if we get near enough to the road, we might see the truck. I mean, you're not gonna see the truck if you if the ideal truck okay. was still running. You're not gonna see it. Yeah. I imagine this is all the wrong end. Now being insanity. I swear, if we've, I swear, we've walked right by those trees already. But there's no way we could be walking in circles. Is there? Everything looked the same. No matter where we went, we both began to wander. If we, if we were making any progress at all, I said wander. <laughs> Uh. What was it? What is it? Over there, I heard something. I see two little girls. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Where? Where was it? On Halloween. Oh, what if it was an old man this whole time? Oh, wow. Quite the plot twist. Oh my gosh, is it Yoshiki? <laughs> God, what next? What's that? Big Randy. <laughs> oh shit, an owl. I am the owl. Oh shit, man. an owl. Who <laughs> enters the I am the owl, man. I see tourists. Let's get him. I am the owl, man. Let's get naked. <laughs> Zeke, I'm the owl, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. We kept climbing to the top oh, oh, and we might that we might soon emerge from these endless woods. But all that got us God damn it. But all that got us was a good two hours. Worth of slugging worth of yerking it. Oh, the rough terrains was killing our legs and our stamina and been worn down to the bone. No. Okay, calm down. It's not that serious. Oh, wait, man. I can't move anymore. Bitch, move. Bro, you're not that weak, bro. No, she the is. Class, the class rep. Really? The class yeah. rep hoped herself down onto a bed of dry leaves on the ground. And just as she did. Fell through. The earth opened up. Whoa, class rep. Look. Look! It's some beautiful art, bro. For real. Huh? She does not look tired now one bit. Look at her. <laughs> she was posing, bro. She was faking. Huh? I hate that sprite, bro. It's so ugly. Alright, Jake, your turn. Beyond the silhouette of the many conifers at the edge of our vision, a faint light could be seen. We're saved! You're not saved. <sighs> Thank you, Nakashima. Thank you for noticing that. No problem. Let's go. We were both dead tired and our legs hurt like hell. But we forgot all of that at the sight of possible salvation and just took off running. As it happens, the bond we've been looking for all this time was a source of that light. Those naked light bulbs shone like beacons in the night sky. Thank God. Oh, it's the bar. I thought it was going to be the old man's truck. Yeah, me too. But this is even better. The bar is what we were looking for, after all. 
I don't remember leaving the lights on when we left. Do you? We should have shut them off, yeah. But it's certainly possible we didn't. But I want to be smart about this and assume that we did and figure something else out. Well, if we're the ones who left them on, then we just saved our own asses. So I guess I should thank good. I should thank. I should thank goodness for small favors. What? I don't get that. All we had to do was push through some undergrowth as tall as we were. And then we'd be there. Seems we somehow circled around back to the back of the lot. We made it. Let's go inside, shall we? Sure. Man, just having light makes all the difference in the world, doesn't it? Yeah, I hate the dark. My phone's clock was showing just past 10.40. I started thinking about home, about uh, how much my mom must be worrying right now. Feeling a bit sad and I hesitated at the barn, barn door when all of a sudden... <laughs> the old man's dead in there. He's dead in there. Has to be. The class rep let out a nearly voiceless cry of absolute shock. She was staring into the darkness just past the building and shuddering in terror. What's wrong? Kashima, look. look! Right next to the barn! Huh? <gasps> what I saw there was something that couldn't be. Something far beyond my imagination and comprehension alike. What the fuck? Is that the house? <laughs> it, it looks what? so out of place. That's so stupid. <laughs> so ugly. It looks so stupid. I swear to God, it does. That's what? How can that? How did y'all not notice this before? It wasn't, it wasn't there before. I'm talking about when they first pulled up. Like, I mean, not when they first no, pulled was, up. Was was the barn, right? Not when they first pulled up. I'm talking about just now. Like did it did it oh, did right. it just pop in front of their eyes? Or I did just, just manifested like right no, now. No 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 you're 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 right because look look at the barn right now. The barn is literally like it's, it's behind it. So what? Yeah, how they manifested they the like time? right now though. That's what I mean. It could have, but they're acting like no. This is the way that they're acting. They're acting like they're they're just now noticing it, and not that it just but popped they also up. Said on the side of the they said yeah on the on side, the of, side the of the barn like they just noticed it like they glanced over and was like wait that's. Like, Weird. Maybe they came in the direction of, like behind the barn. the barn. You know what I mean? The house is bigger than the barn. No, Man, but like how it, it like probably manifested like after, like I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that could know. be that's a possibility, but that's just not how the way that they're reacting, it doesn't it doesn't intent it, 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 that I, I feel like. Yeah. There, well I don't know. There were this there where the Shinazaki estate once stood in what was nothing more than an abandoned lot only a few hours earlier. An old humble residence now rose above us that was definitely old. It seemed almost to be floating in the air, but it was barely clearly an actual corp corporal building. Okay, so it, it, did, humble. it did appear. It did appear. The two of us stood there staring at it for several minutes, completely idiotic. I mean, dumbfounded. I okay. I it was, was right. It wasn't there this evening, was it? Yeah, DJ was, was right. right. DJ was so right. I was right at home. I mean, the barn didn't disappear, right. so you were half right, I guess. Well, look, 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 look. Technically, it might have disappeared. Though. The, way the barn's listen, right the way there, that stupid. Came from, though, no, listen. but it might have disappeared, and now it's back. But listen, Shut if up. it was the way that they actually came from the first what? time, why would? Why wouldn't the barn be there? Like it could have, like it could have moved from a different spot. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't. Not, know. not necessarily that. I just feel like they probably because they said they might have been gone in circles. So like it might have disappeared and they like was going through that place. Well, they didn't kinda, notice like, the, there. the thing is, when they were going in circles. They didn't. When they realized that they they made it out of the loop, they didn't notice the barn or the light. They noticed the pathway. So yeah, if they were they going in circles, they. Oh well, yeah, the, been it's because they were saying the pathway disappeared, though, no? Yeah, the pathway disappeared. They, I don't, I don't yeah. think, I don't they think they were, been, yeah. I don't think anything really disappeared. I think they literally just got trapped somewhere. I think that's what happened. Yeah, I don't. They should have came. Uh, to be honest. Maybe. It wasn't. It definitely wasn't. But. So why is it there now? I 
How should I know, stupid? I had goosebumps all over my body. And a cold sweat began trancing, tracing lines down my back. It, is it just me or is it glowing? Bro, what are we even looking at? Aside from its more ethereal qualities, it was just an old, beat-up, two-story farmhouse. But sure enough, the name played by the door read Shinazaki. This was, without a doubt, the house where Yoshie and Sachiko Shinazaki live. Ugly ass house. <laughs> now that's crazy though. They live all the way right here. That <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh god, you're hyperventilating. Are you alright? The class rep raised a hand to stop me from intervening. I'm okay, but thank you. I, I just have to keep my mouth closed. Thank god. And it'll pass. Oh my god, she's finally learning. From what I hear from your you guys, she's very fucking annoying. Yeah, certainly. Hey, Yo, why Nakashima, is she looking like this? I think now's our chance. Why wow, is she going in? What the? Oh my goodness, what? We came here to learn the secrets of the Shinozaki estate, and well, here we are. It's inviting us in. It's daring us to look around because we're stupid, and we're gonna go inside because we're stupid. Cause you're hey, white. you the one that said. Now. You the one that said that you would do it to, to save us, bro. So don't call them stupid. That's, that's I'm saying the characters doing. are stupid. Yeah, what that's what mean? the characters are doing. They're going in to save their, to save their homeboys. Look, well, I mean, in the story, they're going to die, or something saying that's sort of stupid. But Look, me, I'm not going to die. That, it's different for me. All I know that we did save, and if we die, we can go back and go down the fucking mountain. Yeah. Look, I can't okay. say they stupid for this because they know they probably gonna die, but they still they still spend it back for the bros. I gotta respect that. All I know is that I would not spend back for neither one of y'all. Understand? I would do the same. I don't know. You mean go in there? I feel like in all actuality. I know it's really scary, but we can't turn back now. We're gonna go in the creepy ass old house. We gotta spend back for the bros. We gotta yeah. spend back for Seiko. Oh God. You gotta spin back for more Shigen. Gazing at the imposing oh, structure, she took a deep breath. And after collecting herself, she walked right up to the front door and tried sliding it open. Yeah. It just opened by itself. It gave no resistance at all. Uh, why is she grinning, bro? I guess she's determined. Wait! She said, ain't no waiting. We when she goes in, she's gonna... Oh. This shit long as fuck. I'm cold lying. Yeah. No good. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be this long. I didn't think it was gonna be that long either. I literally thought it was gonna, I thought it was gonna end at them, like, arriving at the house or something. <laughs> when they first got this to the a bar. Long ass, this is supposed to be a teaser for the next team. It's a long-ass teaser. Yeah. Where the no fuck good. Is we might have to stop it here now? Sure, actually, sure. <laughs> How long is the recording been? Like three hours. Three hours. Like Sixty hours. Three That's hours. Alright, blood sex time. Yes. What? How about my Lightning McQueen bed? Yeah. I got the Mario condoms I wanted to try. Shut the fuck up. Right, so I'm gonna go to sleep. Hey yo, peace out, gang. Uh, this this was of course by the Book of Shadows. We gon' we gonna be on the last uh. We gonna finish up this last shot the next time. Hopefully we can have DJ with us. But you already know we're gonna have uh Sunny with us. So peace out. I love you guys. Yes, Everybody say goodnight too. Sunny, I'ma see y'all. Yes, sir. And you already, you already know I'ma see y'all. Yes, sir. Peace out. Love you yes, guys. Sir. Tap into the next. Goodnight, y'all. Yes, sir. Peace out. All right, guys. Now that we're done here, I can finally talk about how much I hate my.